What's up besties? Okay, surprise, I'm back. I know I have some explaining to do. It's been about three months. Um, since then I moved into college. I joined a sorority. I made a ton of new friends. Um, I'm on Thanksgiving break right now. First semester is basically over. But I do plan on picking up the YouTube channel again. I want to try Vlogmas. I just like I want to get it rolling again. So I did take some footage while I've been at school. So I'm going to put all of that in this video and I'm going to fill in the gaps where things like don't make sense. So I'm going to start off with moving in and we're just going to get right into it because I know that's what you guys came to see. And I'm really sorry about my absence. It's just been so busy, but we're going to get this going again. And yeah, I'm so glad that you're still here. Hopefully. Okay. What's up guys? It's Brianna. So today is the day that everyone's been waiting for and that I've been waiting for. It is actually the day before move-in day. I move in tomorrow at 10 a.m. I think we should sit down and chat and I'll explain everything that's going on. Okay, so like I said, I'm moving in tomorrow at 10. For those of you that don't know, I'm going to be a freshman at UConn, which is the University of Connecticut. So I'm bringing my mom, my dad, and Mason with me. My roommate is moving in at 12, so I'm gonna have about two hours to like get my stuff in the dorm, set it up how I want. For today, I have a list of things I need to do to like prepare. So I'm gonna like go try and find that stuff that I can now. And then like, I'm probably gonna sh like clean up my room one last time. And all of my totes are upstairs on the technically third floor. And I'm gonna bring them downstairs, which is gonna take a while, to the first like ground level floor and put them in the laundry room. So that way tomorrow morning when we load up the car, it's like right there. So let's just get right into it. Also make sure to subscribe because I'm gonna have sorority recruitment videos, week in my life. It's just a bunch of college content that I couldn't necessarily put out before. So let's start and try to find all of this stuff. All right, so I just had a few friends over and naturally my room is like a disaster now. So I'm just gonna clean it up for like one last time. And hopefully it'll help me find some of the stuff I'm looking for. So I'm just gonna time lapse this part. Let's put it in motion. Girl, give me a promotion. Let's make it feel like a vacation. Turn a bed into an ocean. We don't need nobody. I just need your body. Nothing but sheets in between us Ain't no getting up early You know I'm always on the night Alright, so my room is clean now I just need to vacuum All that I'm gonna pack That's Mason's stuff He's coming back after practice So he's gonna put it in there And yeah, this these I need to bring downstairs They're just sparkling cider things And that's garbage The room is good I just need to pick those things up and vacuum so now I'm gonna start moving all my stuff downstairs. There's about three totes left upstairs. I'm, my mom's gonna be home soon. I'm gonna ask her for help. And she's not gonna be pleased that all that stuff is in the living room because it needs to go down another flight of stairs into the laundry room. But I'm gonna see if she'll be willing to help me because I am exhausted already. Good morning. Today's the day I woke up and my mom left something for me on the bathroom mirror. I can't do this right now. I'm gonna go open that and I'll let you guys know what it says. Okay, excuse the lighting in these clips, but I need to show you something. I have to somehow fit all these clothes in a box, so let me go figure that out. Always on the night chill, and you can stand these lights alone. Yeah, you don't need I'm already proving to be really bad at filming. So it's 8.30, we're leaving in like 30 minutes. My dad, we're waiting for him to get here. My mom went to the store for something and Mason had to go home, so I'm here by myself. I need to somehow pack all this stuff even though everything's already packed. I don't really know. And then we'll be on the way to Yukon. I put on mascara and it's not waterproof, so can't cry. Hopefully I follow through with that. All right, so, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm a little sick, that's why I don't sound the best but that's kind of where i stopped recording for the day um i cried the whole way there i cried when they left i cried in the shower that night didn't really stop crying that day but i did do some fun things so like i'm gonna put on here it's not gonna be a perfect layout but i'm gonna put some like photos I'll just put like the videos next from my private story on snapchat that day it's probably gonna be like 
horizontal. Move-in day was fun. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll just like, I'm just gonna do a quick recap of everything that's happened since then. Okay, our parents left us here. We're officially alone. Wait, y'all wanna know what's so cool? So this is my room. It's and so Rana <laughs> lives like so far away. I am the, there's a one person in between us and then I'm the next room. I would show you, but I think my roommate's in there with her family, so I'm gonna wait. But <laughs> look, that is so gross. We're making progress. Chloe now has, she has sheets on her bed. <laughs> All right, to explain that video really quick, it was about 85 to 90 degrees for the first week we were there. It was very hot. But yeah, so then that day, I just, I met my roommate once before, but then I met her again. Um, I don't want to spoil anything about how that turned out, but you'll have to see for the rest of the video. So she gave me this cute little, like, I think it was a bracelet. Yeah, she gave me this cute little bracelet thing. Um, and we, like, we went to E, and we just did, like, I'll throw in a few more clips of fun things we did that weekend, just in case, like, you guys want to see. I didn't vlog, but... I have the horizontal version of the videos. I promise there is more vlogging. I do vlog more, but just not the first weekend. So I'm just gonna throw those in there right now and you guys could just see how the first weekend went and then we'll pick up next, which I think would be sorority recruitment, which is the following week. Yeah! yeah! I just like laid in my bed for the first time, like besides nighttime. I want to show you my room. I'm not going to show my roommate's side, but I'm going to show my side. So anyway, come in. Hi. Anyway, here's my wardrobe. There's an extra toe up there. <laughs> Microwave, mini fridge. There's that thingy. I need to fix that. Here's my desk rooney so far. Still not done. Um. Anyway, come over here. My fan's up there because it's hot. Ottoman and the little thingy thing that thingy thing all this stuff um i also have vines and fairy lights and led lights and like basically all my wall decor is still not up so that needs to be done what is up everybody i'm so sorry for the delay today starts like greek life and all things sorority but basically tonight from 4 30 to 7 30 is greek expo i don't know exactly what it is it's optional but i am gonna go so yeah i'm gonna go at like six though because i have two friends going and they're both in class till six right now i'm doing homework on day two of classes all my classes are done for the day but i do have homework already so that's kind of rough but i'm gonna go finish that up and then i'll show you guys some of greek expo and afterwards and by the end of this video i will be in a sorority i've been watching these videos non-stop i'm so excited oh my god the day's on Monday, next Monday, and it's Tuesday right now. So it's like six days until I'm like official. I can't wait. Oh my gosh. Okay. See you guys at Greek Expo. Okay, I'm literally on my way. I'm going to get Chloe and then we're going. With Chloe. I just gotta clear us. <laughs> we're going now. See you there. Okay, excuse the bad lighting. I'm like in our lounge, but I want to talk to you guys. So I got back from the Greek Expo and I loved it. So I kind of like had an idea of what I thought I wanted. Um, and I like, I'm going into it with no bias, but our, at UConn we have nine Panhellenic sororities. We have Phi Sigma Rho, which is like a STEM sorority. There's Alpha Phi, Alpha Chi Omega, Delta Zeta, Alpha, Alpha Kappa Theta, Pi Phi, Gamma Phi, oh my gosh. Alpha Epsilon Phi, Alpha Omicron Pi. I don't know if that was the correct amount or not. If I forgot any, it'll be on the screen. But I really clicked with like three of the girls in a certain sorority and like it made me so excited for this whole thing. And obviously like that's just like three girls and like there's like hundreds of girls in each chapter. But like, I'm just, it made me so excited for recruitment because it's like, I can make those connections, whether it's with them again or like someone else. I'm not gonna say in this video, like who, like which sorority I like want. I just don't think that's like the right thing to put out there. But at the end, you will know where I end up. And yeah, I'll update you every day. Tomorrow is orientation. So I just meet with my Ro Gamma, which I met her today and she's so nice. So Jana, if you're watching this, I literally love you so much. Anyway, 
um, and I get to meet the other PNMs in my group. So yeah, I'll let you know how that goes. That'll be tomorrow. See ya. Okay, good morning. It's Wednesday. It's PNM orientation day. As I said yesterday, I fell in love with a certain group of girls, and I'm like, I'm so excited for tomorrow. But today, we're just meeting with our Rogamas, or like Rokais, I don't know what you guys call them at your school, and the other PNMs in our group. So that's gonna be later. I still have classes, but I'll update you guys later and let you know how that goes. And then tomorrow officially starts recruitment. Okay, I know awful lighting. Um, I'm just gonna do this really quick. I had orientation. I met a really like nice PNM. I met a really nice PNM. I met with my Ro Gamma and all the PNMs in my group. We just talked about the week and how it's gonna go and everything. And it was just like an info meeting, but tomorrow is first day of rush and it's virtual. So I'll update you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It's 8.30 a.m. It's recruitment day one, which is scholarship day. Everything starts at 6 p.m. So I'll update you guys when that comes, but basically scholarship day is you just talk about academic achievement and what each sorority does in order to like provide assistance like academically. And then you just like talk about yourself academically and like your goals and everything. So it starts at six and goes till 10.30ish tonight. So I will meet you guys at six. Okay, so it's like four something. Recruitment starts at six. I still look like this. Uh, Chloe's with me. Hi, I'm trying to put on a necklace, but my nails are like providing me. She's getting ready now because she has to go to class. And then when she comes back, she's going to do recruitment, which means she's missing around. So she was like really interested in this like chapter and now she has to miss it, but they're supposed to send a video. Um, anyway, so they're like 20 minutes each. At the end of the night, we have to talk to our rogue gammas and we have to tell them what decisions we're making. Yeah. And they're going to like talk it through with us. And then they give us like a password to like submit our handshake. As we were saying, they're going to give us a password to submit our prefs. There's eight houses at UConn, and by the end of the night, we have to cut it down to six. So, I'll show you guys my outfit once we uh, start, but because it's Zoom, I'm only going to do, like, the top half of yeah, me. Yeah, here, do an outfit. I'll show me. you Chloe's um, outfit. Okay, um, earrings are from Sheen, necklaces from Sheen, shirts from Sheen, <laughs> leggings are from Old Navy, um, anyway. glasses are from Killingly Eye Care. Daddy issues are well from my dad. <laughs> I'm gonna go get ready and then show you, but next clip you see is probably gonna be us after. Rusty. We're not gonna talk about who we picked until the end, but bid day should be in this. So you'll see where we both end up, and we're like, we don't think we're gonna end up in the same house. No. We're not even taking that into consideration because, like, we don't wanna influence each other. Yeah. But, like, you'll we'll just see at the end. Maybe we'll be surprised. Okay, Tired. so we just finished our last round and we've kind of been just like discussing how we feel about each house. Um, I personally have like three or four in my bottom. I don't know what to do. Uh, I have to call my Rogamma and talk about it because I know True. I know who like my top ones are for sure, but like my bottom I'm like all confused. Literally. And it's like so hard to pick who to let go. So um our friend Jenny's in the background. <laughs> we kidnapped her. This is Jenny. <laughs> she's also going through recruitment and she's laughing at us. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know if she has her mind made up either, but we're all just like discussing kind of, but like we're not like changing our opinion based off of each other really. We're just like talking. But, like, they both missed a house, so they don't know how to, like, rate, like... Oh, my God, me like, and Jenny had the same schedule, and one of them, we ended up in the same, like, breakout room <laughs> together, and we were, like, we're not supposed to be in the room with anyone else, and Jenny goes, oh, yeah, she's right over there, and I was, like, Jenny, you're not supposed to tell them that. She's very far away. I was, like, she's very far away. I can't That's hear so her. Funny. So, I guess we're gonna, like, update you guys after we call our Rogamas and, like, know what we did, Okay, so I forgot to update, but me and Chloe made our decisions. We both picked our top six. Um, I talked to my Rogamma and we like talked it out because I was kind of conflicted. So yeah, I'm confident with what I have. So I, I picked six out of the eight. If you're not familiar with the process, basically just because I picked those six doesn't mean I'm definitely getting them back. My top six could drop me, which would bump number like seven up and number eight up and I would have them again tomorrow or like none of them could want me back and I could have five or four or three so our schedules come out tomorrow and I'll let you guys know if I got my top back 
I'm not going to dwell on it because I know whatever is supposed to happen will happen. But yeah, I will let you guys know tomorrow and Chloe is happy with her decisions too, so yeah. Okay, so me and Chloe got our schedules. We The max was six, I got five. I got four. But we're overall like happy, I think, like right? Yeah, we have the same, she just has one extra. Yeah, so we have like four of them the same and then I have one like other one. That was like one of my favorite ones. So Same, I'm, honestly. I'm, I'm glad I got it back. It kind of did a plot twist on me. It didn't turn out how I expected. I got dropped from three, but yeah, okay. my top two dropped me. <laughs> so we're just gonna trust the process and keep going. And hopefully on Monday we'll both be happy in whichever sorority we end up in. So we will update you guys. We have philanthropy night today. It's on Zoom again, but it's 30 minutes each, which. <laughs> I hope I can hold a conversation. I know, that's so long. Uh, I definitely can, it's just exhausting. Mine starts at 6.15. I think mine starts at 7. Mine goes till 10.30. Same. So, yeah, we'll see you guys after, and then tomorrow we'll let you know what happened with the schedule. Okay, I forgot to show you, it's philanthropy day, and so earrings are from Sheen, shirts from Sheen, necklaces from Francesca's, jewelry is from Pandora and Francesca's. So I had five houses today, um, the max was six, and I've gone to four of them and I have one more and I've lo I feel like today I've had such good connections with every single girl and I could truly see myself in potentially any of these like houses. Um, so tomorrow I have to cut one more tonight so it'll be four and tomorrow is sisterhood day and I'll get to actually go to the ville where all the like sisters live and I'll get to meet potentially four houses, I hope four houses, if not three, two, or one. Hopefully I have houses tomorrow because I'm loving this process and all of the girls so much. So I'll update you guys like after this last one and let you know what I'm thinking. Okay, day three of Rush, it's sisterhood day and we get to actually go to the Ville today and meet everyone. Let's, we're gonna show you a little like outfit of the day. I'm not fully done, I haven't done my makeup yet, but yeah. We got some earrings, which are from Sheen. <laughs> Bracelets from, oh, my hair tie. Bracelets from Sheen, hair tie from the dollar store, necklace from Sheen. Uh, dress from Target, and I'm not wearing my shoes yet, but shoes are from, depends which ones I wear. Okay, so earrings are from Sheen, a ring is from Pandora, my roommate got me this bracelet, this is from Francesco's, my dress is from Sheen, and my shoes are from DSW, I'm gonna probably put on a necklace, so yeah. Okay, so update, sisterhood is over, I went to my four houses, and I cut them down to two, so one of the houses, like one of the girls, I bonded with so hard. We literally like cried. We got so emotional. Literally love her. And I straight up told her that. Um, anyway, so I prepped that one first. Then there was another one where there was a girl from my hometown that I've talked to twice this week. And I love her too. So I prepped that one. And there's two others, which I really, really liked still, but we have to cut it, unfortunately. I think my Rogamma is in my top picked house. Like, I just feel it. So, um... I'll let you guys know tomorrow, but it literally went so well today, and yeah, I'll let you guys know if I have my full schedule of two tomorrow. Tomorrow's prep day, so it's like, the girls that pick you tomorrow, they want you in their sorority pretty much, like that's basically how it is. So I'll let you guys know, and then bid day is on Monday, and it's Saturday, so I literally cannot wait. I'll be an official something on Monday, so see ya. Okay, it's prep day. I got the two houses back that I wanted. Let me show you the fit. So earrings and necklace are from Zara, uh, ignore my name tag. Dress is from Target, I don't know the brand. Shoes are from Shane, um, and ring is from Pandora. So I'm super excited. Today's supposed to be like an emotional, like personal day. And I really hope I get prepped by one of the girls that I already had because I like fell in love with her. Um, this process definitely works, trust it, trust me. Tomorrow's bid day, I'll update you guys after prep. We have to sign the Maraba today, so yeah. Okay, prep day's over. Me and Chloe signed our Maravas and like listed one and two. We both had two, so we listed both. And uh, tomorrow's bid day. We have to guess. Hey. We have to guess which chapter our Rogam is in. That's gonna be fun. And then we open our bid cards. We run home and then we hang out, which is crazy. I know. Oh my god. So we'll let you know. There's a chance we'll be in the same one, but like it's unlikely because yeah. it's our second for both of us. So we'll see tomorrow. Okay, just wanted to update you guys on how tomorrow's gonna go. So tomorrow is bid day. Basically, if we don't get a bid at all, they will call us in the morning. Our rogue amos will call us in the morning and tell us. So that way... Hey, I'm vlogging. Oh. <laughs> That's Jenny. Are you coming in? 
I'll stop recording. I'll finish. Okay, so anyway, if you don't get a bid, your rogue animal will call you and tell you so you like don't show up. So we prepped, or like we prepped two houses, which one we want the most, and then like the second most. If your first house doesn't pick you, you can end up in your second house. If they don't pick you, you just don't get a bid. Um, and yeah, I don't really know what we're going to be doing at bid day. I know our rogamas are going to like reveal themselves, like which chapter they're in. If you don't know what a rogama is, I haven't explained, but it's just like a sorority member, like a girl that disaffiliates from her chapter and like helps you through the process and you just like talk to her. Me and Chloe picked different houses, but we're doing what's best for us. And there's a chance we could still end up together because we have the same, like, second house, but... Yay! Yay, okay, bye. Okay, I'm with some friends that want to introduce themselves, okay? The oh, there's Erica. Hey. There's Raquel. Hi! There's Chloe. And Destiny. Hi. <laughs> Destiny's giving me hate comments. Yeah, LGC. because you haven't uploaded. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hair's half brushed, but it's bid day. I'm with Chloe. So far, we haven't gotten a phone call from our Rogamas, so we think we got a bid, but there's still a chance we can get a phone call. Um, I'm definitely not done getting ready, but we're supposed to just wear shorts, comfy shoes, and a tank top because our chapters are going to give us shirts to like put on over this. And I'll probably record a little bit at bid day, so hopefully that will be in the video as well. And by the end, you'll know which chapter I'm in. I'm so excited. I definitely have my fingers crossed for a certain chapter, but yeah. See you guys later. Okay, we were both told that we got bids. We don't know like if it was our first choice or our second choice yet, but we're gonna know in about an hour. So we gotta go down to like the student union and we're gonna open our bids and I think I'm gonna try to record that, so. Oh my God, that'd be so cool. Yeah, so uh, we'll see you after cause we're both gonna be in a chapter. We don't know which one, but like. It's possible we're in the same one, but unlikely cause like we both really resonated with our tops, but. Yeah, so we'll see you guys later. Okay, before we continue, I just want to say, Chloe, I'm so sorry for cutting your face off in literally every single clip. I did not know. Um, so now I'm just going to get into the clip of me opening my bed. Some of these clips are going to be horizontal because I wasn't vlogging. I just have the clips. Then I'm going to like uh, put some clips in from bid day. And then I'll come back and just give a quick recap about how the rest of college is going. And yeah, then I guess I'll see you guys next time. But let's get into bid day wonder where i ended up <laughs> couple clips i am an a phi alpha epsilon phi love those girls with my whole heart and the next clip is kind of confusing but it's just me showing that my row gamma is also an a phi so love you jana okay let's keep going <laughs> beta phi so is my friend jenny and then my friend lenny is also an ae5 with me and my ro gamma jana was an ae5 so we're sisters now so they give me little butterfly clips my ae5 bid day 2021 shirt some stickers some glitter and then i got like hold on i got my a5 sign and like one of the girls casey wrote on the back for me and then i got a little bag um with just some candy in it so yeah okay so this video is ridiculously long so i'm gonna end it here um basically college has been great so far there'll be more in depth in depth updates but that was moving day and sorority recruitment so i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time bye <laughs>